Oh my gosh, it's opening up. I've been on that side. You guys are seeing it first right here. Ah! Oh! Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan. Today, we have these giant tools for an awesome thing that we're gonna do. We've got a crazy project up here in Alaska. We have tools. I think it's pretty funny that we always go to Home Depot or Lowe's no matter where we're at in the world. I still haven't decided which one we like more. We need to find tools that are good for getting into a beaver dam. There's a big old fan. Where is the beaver dam destruction section? Uh, Saws. Ooh, what about like wire cutters? What is this, wrecking claw? Dude, that sounds cool, let's get that. I think this is good. We've got this guy, this thing, and the big old hatchet. Looks good. Let's go. We've got some family from up here. Dan and his son, Caden. Leslie, Lincoln's mom, grew up with Dan. And like they're around the same age. And so they grew up together, went to school together and everything, but they're cousins. And so it was really nice of him to help us out today. This is an old beaver dam that has been here for a lot of years. And, and we are gonna take it apart. So I keep saying beaver dam. It really is a beaver lodge or a beaver home. There is a difference. The beaver dam is what build, it's almost, it is a dam. It's like just what it says it is. And they make that to have the water go up. So the beaver lodge or the house, that's where they actually live. And they want it to be somewhere that's close to their food, away from predators, and they can access it and exit it out of two different holes under the water. They're strong enough that bears will come when they're really hungry and will scratch away at the top and they don't access it. That's how tough these things are. And that's what we're gonna try to get into. So can we get into a beaver home? I'm not 100% confident. Caden has a towel and some goggles. We're gonna have him swim down and look inside of the hole with GoPros. Mm -hmm. Sounds very safe. Are you ready? Yeah. You want to try again? Okay. Yeah. It's got muddy. See how muddy it is in there now? We don't know what those shots look like, but I hope that we gave you a little insight into the entrance of a beaver home lodge. Are you scared? A little. Lincoln just wants to dig. Definitely don't do this at home. Like don't go and just say, oh, I'm gonna tear up a beaver home. We made sure earlier that this is completely vacated and he's been watching these throughout the year. Dan, what's the strategy here? Have you ever dug a beaver home before? I never have. Most people don't dig the lodge if they dig the dams because they're causing a problem. I think we're just gonna try to move as much stuff out of the, out of the way. We know that they're gonna be sticks and rocks. Oh, that's like concrete. What can we expect to be inside of this thing? What I'm hoping to find is a living space. If I just a rock. A rock? So can beavers just carry rocks? There's way more rocks than you would ever imagine and they carry them over and put them in to give structure. So okay, cool. My job is chucking sticks into the river and I like it. I think you're doing a good job. <laughs> Any observations from the initial sticks and mud and rocks? How does it smell? Can you describe the smell? Does it yeah. smell like your shirt, your socks, or your underwear? Which one would best describe the smell of this mud? Hmm. I think it's your shirt. Oh! Ooh, burn, wow. Earthy musky. Earthy musky. The new What's Inside scent will be earthy musky. Look for it in stores in November. What is that? Is that a rock? Oh, no, it's a log. Yep. Solid. And look at the ends of it. It gnawed on the end right there. You and can right see the there. teeth. Little yeah. teeth marks on it. All little teeth marks. One thing that I heard, I don't know if it's fully true or not, but I heard that they have to keep chewing on these things because it wears down their teeth. And if they don't, their teeth are just gonna grow and grow and grow. So they're always gnawing on the wood to help their teeth. And they have a dense layer on the outside that actually has iron in it. It's very strong, so they can uh, go through these really thick Do human teeth woods. have iron in them? No, not, this is a layer of, it's orange. Like when you look at a beaver and Lincoln's smiles, teeth are orange too. They have a layer of orange. Let's see, you got some iron I think it's teeth. like Cheetos. Are they, are they orange? Oh no, they're, well, just a, it's a thin layer of orange. Here's where we're at so far. We've pretty much gone straight down into a hole. We're making some progress here. I don't know what it looks like to you guys on camera, but this is what I call progress. This looks good. Ooh. And it looks like we're to the, getting to the cavity right now. Oh, that is totally the cavity. There's the home. We're getting into the, the what's it called? Not the home. Lodge. The lodge. The lodge. The right. Justin Bieber den. The Justin Bieber den. 
Oh! He actually scared me. <laughs> okay, just for the record, there were multiple hardcore Alaskans that, I'm sweating, that have been here for years and they told us, there's no way you're gonna be able to get down there. You can't get into that, that's too tough. Bears can't get into it. We are getting in right now. Look at this. Beaver home versus shovel. Beaver home wins every single time. What? That's metal. Look at that, it's beavers. They might have taken our shovel. But they'll never take. They won't take our pickaxe. Pickaxe. Or whatever this is called. <laughs> That's why I think it broke, because we got in really good. I was giving it some good Whoa, leverage. Whoa, look at that. Standing. Oh my gosh. There's the roof right there. Oh my gosh, Dan. Oh my gosh, it's opening up even on that other side. To the right and to the left. Like it's all underneath this whole place. Dan is getting in there. He's doing work. You can check this guy out. He works just as hard on his four wheelers. Let's ride Alaska. That's his YouTube channel. Right now, he is currently at eight subscribers. Pause this video, go subscribe to his channel, and then come back over here and see the end because he is doing work. He's getting in this dam. Not a dam. He's getting in this beaver thing. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, I need to get the GoPro and look in there. We got some different things. We've got some flashlights. Yeah. We have a glow stick. I think we dropped the glow stick down in there. Okay. GoPro, glow stick. I'm going in. How can I get in there? I just want to crawl in the thing. I'm going in a bit. Let's Dude, see. I want you to so do it, dirty. Lincoln. See how wet it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm coming in. My foot is in and I'm touching some logs. It's not completely falling into the water, so that's good. Glow stick. Light him up, glow stick. Light him up, up, up. Light him up, up, up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. That goes so far back and there's mud. Can you see that? Look how far back that's going. Oh, wow. We are looking inside the Beaver Lodge right now. You guys are seeing it first right here. Whoa, it goes so far. Oh, oh. Wow, what's inside a beaver house is awesome. How long have your ancestors been in Alaska? Oh, a long time. You have partial Eskimo, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm Inupiat Eskimo. <laughs> what kind of? Inupiat. First Inupiat. time I have been inside a beaver house. Here's the thing, Lincoln's jumping on it and bouncing right now. It's really strong. The way that the beavers build these things, it's in layers, multiple layers. They crisscross and they must do it very strategically. Like I have a family of engineers. Everybody three generations down other than me as an engineer. I just destroy stuff. But I can appreciate how hard it took them to build this. Like you can jump on it. Think about a giant bear scratching and clawing and jumping on this and the beaver can just sit down there in the bottom. Yeah, I'm really impressed with these beavers. Ah! I only want to call it a beaver dam. That's what it is to me. That is the beaver hull, beaver home, beaver lodge we got inside of it. Thanks to our friends from Alaska. He has eight subscribers. Can we get to 8,000? His channel is right here. Let's ride Alaska. Let's ride Alaska. Go check it out. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Musky is definitely the right word yeah. for this. First it would be Slime. Don't tickle my ears when my, my head is in a beaver hole. Number one rule with the beaver hole. Okay. 